Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a good one for me, personally, because of the Liga Noche Portuguese players. We got Pedro Gonzalves to review today, okay? So with this guy, let me tell you guys something. He's top class. This guy could be the next Bruno Fernandes. I'm not even joking when I tell you guys this, because he is a very good player in real life, right? So, when it comes to the selection of both of these players that you guys see here, honestly... Before, there was an obvious choice of Bruno, Bruno Guimaraes, in my opinion, right? But with Pedro, I don't think it's as obvious because the thing is, is that the center mid card with a shadow chemistry style actually looks really good. Now, for the sake of the review, I'm obviously going to be choosing the right wing card because it's obviously attacking and whatnot, right? Uh, but I want to show you guys the differences, right? So with this center mid card, if you were to give him a shadow chemistry style, he looks like he would be a very fun attacking oriented center mid card to have in the midfield playing next to Bruno Fernandes, Renato Sanchez, and then hopefully in the future, a good CDM for Portugal because the card has dribbling the card has a decent shooting he's got pace he's got defensive capabilities a little bit of physical while also having passing right so if you want to play him as a center mid in like a 5-3-2 or a 4-1-2-2 or even as one of your center defensive mids as a more attacking oriented center defensive mid he looks like he could be really cool there now with the right wing card if we take a look at his stats in game uh, you're going to notice that his base card stats for dribbling in this gameplay is not as high, right? So it is something that you are going to notice with the Hunter chemistry style. However, the thing that I'm going to tell you guys with this card is that if I was going to be lined up in like a 5-3-2 or something, right? And he has those high medium work rates with 86 stamina. I would just use this card in the center mid position anyways, if I feel like using him there, if that makes any sense, right? Because with a card like this, I just know that he'll be more attacking oriented anyways, but he'll just be lacking in the defensive stats uh it's one of those cards where i wish ea didn't make him a selection i think the defensive stats definitely would have been really cool even on the right wing card because who cares if you give defensive stats you know what i mean but it is what it is i'm gonna choose the right wing one we're gonna be trying him out with the hunter chemistry style because of the boost that he is given with uh the shooting so yeah let's get let's get into the team and i'll show you guys what i am uh, working with Look at my team. It's coming along so nicely. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to give him a finisher because this guy, he's a, you know, good all good, usable version of himself. You guys know the vibes. Usable version of himself. <laughs> uh, this is what we have working with so far. Yo, it's it's getting there, boys. Honestly, we got the Liga Nojo, the FC Porto, you know, Portuguese. There's FC Porto with Herrera. Oh my goodness. Talk dirty to me. Thank you very much. Okay, so with Pedro Gonzalez in game, guys, he's got... Five foot eight height, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot, in game player traits. Uh, he has the flare trait, so no finesse shot traits or outside foot shot trait. He's got 91 acceleration with 89 sprint speed. We're going to be boosting that with a hunter chemistry style to boost it uh, to be a 99 99. What is your body type? Body type is definitely going to be very important for dribbling as well. That's the center mid card, right wing card. His body type is going to be average. Okay, so his average body type and his dribbling stats will probably be affected in-game, but something that you have to probably compensate for anyways. Uh, honestly, guys, I don't even want to give him a hunter. I would just sacrifice the pace and give him a finisher. I'm going to give him a finisher. You know why? Because with the finisher chemistry style, it's going to basically be like a Gonzalo Gedge 2.0, I think, right? Because if you give these cards finisher and you just compensate for the pace not being necessarily the highest, I think that makes the most sense, man. Because, you know, you're going to have 99 dribbling, 93 for balance, and 99 for agility, while boosting his finishing to a 99, 98, and a 93. So let me go do that real quick. I pray that he has a uh, good attacking AI, though. Because he's high medium work rates, right? So... It's always uh, random with these guys because we are going to be using long ball tactics to see if he has generic, selective, all that good stuff, right? Because we're going to we're gonna line this up really nicely, actually. In the custom tactics, we're going to be using the 3-5-2. Uh, 3-5-2 three, five, two. Three, five, two will look like this. Right, 3-5-2. Cool. Let's check out the rest of his stats before we keep it going, though. But yeah, the finisher chemistry style will be boosting his uh, shooting and his dribbling a lot. So hopefully it feels more responsive in-game. He does still have that average body type, so it's still going to be affected for sure. But then he also has some decent physical stats at 74 strength, 71 aggression, and 86 stamina. Again, you can use his card as one of your center mids if you're playing like a 4-3-3 or something or a 4-1-4-1. Uh, but just realize that he's going to be your more uh, attacking-oriented player. Uh, pressure after possession loss, put that there, long ball, 
And we're going to do this. Do this, do this. And then we're going to play him up top. I like to try these players in the striker position in this 3-5-2 to see if their attacking actually goes pretty quickly. We'll even play him on the left side because of that four-star weak foot. Switch this over here. This over here. Nelson Smedo would be great to have on the side here, actually. So we'll just do this. Perfect. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. These guys will do this. We'll do this. And then the rest will just do this, do that. And keep the rest as it is. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll see how he plays up top, guys. Okay, buddy, we get it. You also have a Portuguese team. All right, okay. Now I gotta, now I gotta like, I gotta show him what's up now, guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, guys, give him the finisher, man. Compensate for the pace, dude. Trust me. I feel like with these cards, you just, you want to give them as much dribbling as possible, in my opinion. Oh, let's go, Gonzalez, my boy. My boy. Yo, he actually, he feels cool, man. The finisher chemistry style actually doesn't feel too bad on him. It actually fixes these cards a lot. Obviously, you do have to compensate for pace, but it's not necessarily a big deal, man, to be honest with you guys. I don't really, like, care for the meta of counter through ball, so. Yeah, guys, his dribbling feels fine with the finisher as well. I like it. Yeah, skill must come off really quickly on that first time fake shot. That was nice. I'm pretty sure this guy knows who I am because he's tryharding a lot for my player review. I feel like he knows, man. Ah, he's offside there. Ooh, look at this card, bro. He actually dribbles really nicely, dude. The finisher chemistry style works perfectly for him. Ah, he left. Ah, uh huh. Uh huh. Interesting. Guys, I'll tell you this right now. He's he's pretty fun to use, man. I, I had a feeling it would make the most sense to give him a finisher. I had a feeling. I, I'll compensate for the pace, man, because the pace is not that bad. The reason why I know this is because, like, there's certain cards that I've used in the past that, yeah, they have 89, 91 acceleration sprint speed, and it's not necessarily, like, a full meta thing to have because pace is pretty relevant in this game, but... You can compensate well for it, man, because you guys know me. I want to dribble and get past the space that way, you know? You guys know me, man. I, I, you know what I was thinking? I, like, I was like, oh, you know, should I get Mbappe and stuff? And I'm like, nah, bro. Like, I can't, bro. It's too boring. But I get cards like this, I get so excited. Especially when they're, like, good and usable, you know what I mean? Like, Gonzalo Gadge, he's, like, a, he's an incredibly usable version of himself. But this card right now, guys, is dribbling way better, man. Way better. This, it's already better than Gonzalo Gadge's card, for sure. But, you know, I'll still use him because, you know... <laughs> You know what it is, bro? Pedro doesn't have that, like, emphasis touch that Gonzalo Gedge does. You know what I'm saying? Like, he doesn't do that. And I think that makes a huge difference. Because I even give a finisher to Gonzalo Gedge, and uh, he still does it, obviously, right? But with Pedro, it's very different. His movement is good, too, to open up the space there. You kind of have to sometimes move with your cams a certain way to adjust to the attacking AI of the individual player that you're looking at, right? Nice. His dribbling is great, guys. He doesn't... It's very important that his base characteristic doesn't have that dribbling thing that Gonzalo Gedge has. Like, it's not even like, a, oh, this is an incredibly usable version of his card. With the finisher chemistry style, guys, he actually dribbles well. It's like sharp dribbles, you know? And that's that's what you have to look for the most uh, when it comes to these types of cards. You see how Gonzalo Gedge kind of does it? Like, that's what bothers me a lot about him. Which is why I say he's an incredibly usable version of himself, but... Even the turnaround strike right there is really nice. Beautiful stuff. I was really looking for... I was really hoping that they would have added this card. It's this card and Fabio Silva that I hope that they add because... Pedro Gonzalez is very, very good, guys. I'm telling you. He's so annoying to play against. It's like... It's Bruno Fernandes, bro. I'm telling you. You see the sharp dribbling? That's what I'm saying, dude. A nice little finesse shot there. Finisher, guys. Guys, finisher, I'm telling you, he's actually good. 
The card is like, what, 160, 170k for a player that plays in the right wing position? I don't even get the center mid card. My initial thoughts was like, yeah, you know, there's not a right answer, not a wrong answer, right? But mostly for chemistry links, I would say, but uh, get the right wing card, trust me. Right wing card, finish your chemistry style, boys. You guys know that even if it's a Portuguese player, like, I'll tell you my honest opinion on the cards regardless, right? And even in the Gonzalo Gedge review, I just told you guys, hey, you know, he's an incredibly usable version of himself, whatever. But if I tell you guys that the finish, the dribbling is actually good, like, you know the vibes. Too close. Oh, and I still get it. Let's go. It goes over his legs. Guys, this card is so freaking sick, man. Oh, and I hit that finesse shot. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, man. This guy is a joker around, bro. Finish your chemistry style with the shooting stats that he's given and the dribbling. Jeez. All right, guys, so final verdict on this Pedro Gonzalez card. So let's talk about a few things. So with his attacking AI, guys, it's not the best attacking AI, but it's good attacking AI. Does that make sense? Like, you know, when I use like flashback Higuain's card or I use Fernando Torres or I use Mbappe, like these guys have very good attacking AI, like probably the best. Like even Fernando Torres, I use him on the sides and the guy moves across the pitch like an absolute monster. So don't expect Pedro to be at the best version of it, right? But he's still in the good version of it. And that is honestly good enough for me because Gonzalo Gedge has generic attacking AI, but he has good attacking AI, which I really like, okay? Because this card with the finisher chemistry style, guys, is way better than I thought it would be. And I think the biggest thing that actually makes him really good in this game is because he's five foot eight, right? So it's a combination of different things that when you give him the finisher chemistry style with the dribbling, agility, balance boost, while boosting his shooting to essentially be perfect, it's an amazing card, man. And here's the thing with this card, right? Is that he also has passing. So you can use this card in any of the attacking positions. Left attacking mid, right attacking mid, cam, striker, uh, left mid, right mid. He has the 86 stamina. Guys, in my opinion, and you guys know, I love my Portuguese players, don't get me wrong, but I'll still tell you how I feel about certain cards. You guys know when I say, guys, Juan Felix, don't use him as a striker, can't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I, that's just me. This card you can use anywhere, bro. The finisher chemistry style, I don't know what it's doing to him, bro. I think it's the five foot eight height that makes his dribbling sharp. It's the sharp dribbling that you have to see. It's the most important thing because Gonzalo Gedge does not have sharp dribbling. And I think it's because of the height, man. It's a combination of the height, the body type, the dribbling stats that he has, as well as the composure. Because you guys can see in those areas, it was just very, very sharp constantly. And it works perfectly for him too because the finisher is boosting his shooting so much that when you get inside the 18 yard box it's really good precise powerful strikes man i'm really happy i got the right wing version guys you guys know at the end i always tell you guys exactly how i feel get this card over the center mid the center mid is just going to be like oh cool center mid to use in your team get the right wing card man finish your chemistry style you guys won't regret it he's actually really sick thank you guys so much for watching the video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys